It's the end of the day with Ray. Hello, my friends. You know, some folks reached out to me. They said, Ray, has Lexmark ever updated anything on that original statement that they put out in late June regarding Nine Star, their owners being banned by the Department of Homeland Security over the Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act? And I said, no, I haven't seen anything. Nothing's been updated on the website. So I thought today would be a good time to go ahead and pull up that original statement and then uh, ask Lexmark for some clarification because it's been 100 days. They should have the answers by now. And I thought, what great timing. We've all seen the news the last couple of days where Apple's been banned in China. Cost the company nearly $200 billion in value. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you've seen the headlines, right? Here's a couple of them. China seeks to broaden iPhone ban to state firms and agencies. I'll tell you what, I wish the free world governments were as tough as that Chinese government is. I mean, the CCP, they don't screw around. Get that free world tech out of our agencies and our government offices. Get it out of here. Meanwhile, here in the United States, load up the government offices with Lexmark printers, Panta printers, G&G &G printers. If we can get it cheaper, we want to put it in our government office. It's absurd. Load up those government offices with Lenovo compute products. Load up those government offices with Lexmark printers. Get the Lexmark cloud services so you can send all the stuff to the Communist Chinese Party. It's amazing to me, ladies and gentlemen. Totally amazing. But that's the difference. That's the difference between a tough government taking a stand and a free world government being manipulated by the tough government that takes the stand. Ladies and gentlemen, it's just amazing to me that you got China banning Apple. Meanwhile, here in the United States, we got Nine Star suing the Department of Homeland Security over their banning, along with eight of their subsidiaries, over the Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act. It's just amazing to me. I mean, folks, I'm telling you, if this wasn't so true, it would be comical. I mean, this is like a Saturday Night Live episode. But it's reality. It's absolute reality. Ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to go back and I wanted to look at this Lexmark statement that they issued on June 22nd, 2023, roughly 14, 15 days after the ban went in place. But I want to read you the statement, and I've added some, some sentences here in red, because by now, by now, I'm sure Lexmark can answer all these questions. But at the top of this, it says, why is the free world so easily manipulated by the CCP? Because w when you listen to the statement from Lexmark, it's obviously a bunch of trash that the CCP told them to write, and they wrote it. They don't even address, they don't even address the ban based on UFLPA. Let me just read you the statement, and I'll read you my notes. Because I got some big questions for Lexmark. Hopefully they can answer. On June 9th, 2023, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, DHS, announced actions to restrict goods by Nine Star Corp., one of Lexmark's many suppliers from entering the United States. Lexmark is not part of the order. Part of the order, I mean, you know, announced actions to restrict goods. Doesn't that just sound like a bunch of fluff? You know, what it should have said on June 9th, 2023, the U.S. Department of Homeland Security banned Nine Star, our owners along with eight of their subsidiaries for bringing products to the United States supply chain based on the Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act. That's what they should have said. But they didn't really want to say that because they're being manipulated by the CCP, I'm sure. So I got to ask you, Lexmark, it's been nearly 100 days. Who are these other current suppliers? I asked you this back in June. Who are these other current suppliers that you have back then? I mean, why can't you name who, the, who they are? Lexmark has stopped shipments from Nine Star and it's affected subsidiaries to the U.S. and will replace Nine Star as a supplier globally. Oh, oh, I mean, when I read this back in June, I laughed my ass off because it's so ridiculous. I mean, Nine Star didn't buy Lexmark, so Lexmark could go out there and get other global suppliers. It's just, it's a, it's a sentence that didn't even make any damn sense. But it's been 100 days, Lexmark. Who are your new suppliers? Could you share that on your website? Hey, we wanted to update everybody on our new suppliers. Here they are. It's just amazing to me. As a global manufacturer that utilizes multi-source strategy in regional manufacturing facilities, only a small portion of Lexmark manufacturing comes from Nine Star and its affected subsidiaries. We do not anticipate any significant disruption from this order. That's what they said nearly 100 days ago. I say, really? It has been 100 days. Where are all your manufacturing facilities? Can you not list those on the website? Here's where we're doing everything. You know, here's where all these products are coming from. Here's our supply chain, the complete supply chain. Nothing's coming from Nine Star. It's absurd to even think that's reality. And I would ask you this, what's your current back order? I mean, you said it wasn't gonna affect your supply chain. It's not gonna affect anything. 
because you got multiple suppliers. Nothing's going to get affected. I got to ask those dealers out there. I think about some of the dealers that might be selling the Sharp equipment that was manufactured by Lexmark. And of course, Sharp doing the right thing, the honorable thing. They, they canceled some shipments that were coming in. Uh, how, how's that affecting? Was Lexmark able to go call up Sharp and say, oh, don't worry about it, Sharp. We got other suppliers. Here's the toner that you need for that machine. Don't worry about it. Nothing's going to happen. I had a pause. Because everybody watching this knows I'm exactly right. It's pure horseshit nonsense. Lexmark is committed to an issuing, ensuring, excuse me, that all our suppliers adhere to the highest standards of compliance, security, and social responsibility. We support international law standards and follow all applicable laws in the markets in which we operate. Unfortunately, according to the DHS, Lexmark's owners, Nine Star, are not committed to international laws because they're banned over the Uyghur Forced Labor Prevention Act. But ladies and gentlemen, it's been 100 days. I think Lexmark issued this thing back in June, hoping no one would ever bring it up again. Yeah, we threw some nonsense on our website, so hopefully it all goes away. Well, guess what? Here on the end of the day with Ray, we're going to stay on it like a dog on a bone. Ladies and gentlemen, someone reached out to me. They asked me about the security. Lexmark's privacy policy. I did an episode on that, but I just want to share with you really quick. You go to Lexmark's website, all kinds of government stuff, GSA contracts, you know, it's just amazing. Like I said, Chinese government tough as hell on free world technology. But here in the free world, ah, we don't care where it comes from. Hell, just bring it on in. Hey, can we get anything cheaper from the Communist Chinese Party companies? Because if we can, we want to fill up our government offices with it. Totally amazing. But ladies and gentlemen, this is what's really amazing. And I did an episode on this, and I can't believe this just didn't cause outrage all through the free world. All through those government offices that use Lexmark equipment. Let me read it. This is right off their damn website, Privacy Notice. Let me read it. Cross-border transfers. We are a global organization with offices and customers around the world to efficiently manage our business and best serve you all kinds of data. All kinds of data, not just personal data, may be transferred and accessed by Lexmark entities worldwide on the basis of this privacy notice and in alignment with international data privacy standards. We may store, transfer, and process personal data in the United States and other countries where we maintain facilities. By using our websites or services, you consent to any such transfer of information outside your country. Are you kidding me? We all know that they're owned by a PRC. And the PRC is based in China. And we all know that PRCs in China report to who? Xi, the dictator. Ladies and gentlemen, they're telling the whole world they're giving your data to China. And they need to clarify this. All kinds of data, not just personal data. Hey, government offices, as you're scanning into the Lexmark cloud, where's it all going? I guess they can share it with all the countries they do business in. Ladies and gentlemen, this is so outrageous, it's unbelievable, and I cannot believe that no one's addressed this since I did that episode from Lexmark. So let me wrap it up with this last slide. Our friends over at Kodakum and Ulta, they were on that panel discussion, and they talked about how they're moving some stuff they were doing with Lexmark. They're getting it out of Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, the bottom line is, I don't care where you're getting it out of. China is where Nine Star is headquartered. They are a PRC. All the money from America that comes from Lexmark, that comes from Nine Star, that comes from Pantom, that comes from G&G, that comes from Static Control, and all the subsidiaries around Nine Star, all the money's going back to China. Is that really what we want to be doing? Let alone our data, according to their own privacy policy. So it doesn't matter whether they get it down in Mexico, goes to China, Mexico, and the United States. I mean, it's just absurd. We need to find out exactly what the hell the relationship is between Conoco and Ulta and Nine Star. What is the relationship? They're the two chairmen are congratulating each other on doing this agreement back in 2019. We need to understand that completely. And I think Konica Minolta owes it to the free world to share exactly what their relationship is with Nine Star. Ladies and gentlemen, some things to think about over the weekend, because everybody watching me knows this status quo is the killer of all that'll be invented. Don't get stuck in status quo. I'll see you all on Monday.